Hi everyone, and welcome to my next vlog. This is actually the second vlog. Um, as for the first one, I'll try to put a link right here, or somewhere in this general area, um, about the previous vlog, which, warning, did include an on-camera injection, self-injection, so there's that. This particular vlog was voted on by my patrons, and they want to hear more about my transition. Um, for those of you that don't know, I am a transgender man, which means that I was born physically female. Now, to start the story of my transition, I actually have to start with how I felt growing up. I never felt right in women's clothing, in anything like that. It was uncomfortable. It felt awkward. This was not easy for my parents. Um, of course, they had no idea what was going on. I had no idea what was going on. I had no idea when I pretended with my friends why I wanted to be whatever male lead of whatever we were pretending to be was. I remember Darkwing Duck very vividly. And by the way, yay for the DuckTales reboot! Um, anyway, starting with there, um, moving on later in my life, I developed what amounted to multiple personality disorder. Um, it was uncomfortable, to say the least, though it was helpful in some ways. Um, if anyone wants me to talk more about that, I'll do that in a future vlog. That could be a vlog topic all on its own. Um, this one, though, we're going to stick with the transition itself. So, I started reading a lot about transgender people after finding the documentary about Chaz Bono on Netflix. And I realized that what he described going through growing up sounded a lot like me. I identified with it, so I did more research. I've never been one to jump into something without research. I'm still a scientist through and through, no matter what anyone might say. So, I ended up, I ended up doing research for about a year, from around April of the year I turned 29 through December of that same year. And I could do the calculation right now, but I'll spare you trying to do math in my head, because I absolutely suck at math. If I can figure out the year later, I'll put it on the screen. Now, I uh, came to the realization that I was transgender, and that I was actually male. So I talked to my wife. Yes, we were already married at the time. Well, not legally, we're not legally married now, but it's, at this point, we're freaking common law. So anyway, uh, I talked to her about it, and she, thankfully being bisexual, said that she would love me no matter what. And so I decided that on my 30th birthday, I would tell the rest of my friends and family. Now, this involved a very lengthy post to my DeviantArt, explaining things to people and linking them to the new account, because I didn't feel right staying on the old account uh, when I was, well, you know, not that person anymore, to explain that. Anyway, that was just one of the steps, and I told... My best friend, my brother-in-law, my mother-in-law, all on the same day, and I think it was kind of overwhelming for them. Also, the previous two months had been involved in coming up with a name for myself. Um, I actually went with Joshua because of the biblical story of the walls of Jericho coming down, because it felt like I had taken the first step toward dropping the walls in my own life, and it was important. Tyler, my middle name, 
was actually chosen by my biological mother. Um, those of you that might be familiar with it, my first book was called Tiger Wolf. And the title character's name was Tiger Wolf, but in the rewrite, because let's be honest, I actually published that as a first draft. Really should have done that. The, the character's name was changed to Tyler Wolf, W O L F E, which was a combination of my spelling of Tiger Wolf and so that Tiger could still technically be his nickname, T Y G E R, just like mine, actually. Um, anyway, my mother suggested, because she had helped me come up with the name Tyler for that character, that I take Tyler as my middle name, because then she would have a hand in naming me. Now, I did ask her what my name would have been had I been born physically male, and her answer was David Michael. While I liked the name, I didn't. it didn't feel like me, so I didn't go with that, but it was on the table for a long time. Um... It's hard to describe what it's like realizing that you're transgender. It's surreal and at the same time so affirming of everything in your life. I, uh, I kept, um, kept researching, found an endocrinologist in the area um, who I could go to for a consultation about getting on hormone replacement therapy. Um, now, more on that, you can look at my previous vlog because that was a whole subject. Um, anyway, so at this point, I've been living as male for four years. Um, have not legally changed my name or gender on my driver's license. As a result, I carry my old driver's license as well as my current one, which has a current picture. As you can see, I don't exactly look like I embody the name Catherine anymore. So that's usually not a problem. I have actually been accused of stealing my own ID or uh, taking an ID from a sister or something. Because when you look at the two pictures together, uh huh. Doesn't quite look like the same person, does it? Anyway, it does look like a relative, though, so that's usually what they tell me. Um, so that's still to go, actually. I have to get together the $500 filing fee just to start the process. I need to be able to afford to run a uh, ad in a newspaper once a week for a month, announcing the name and gender change, and, um, and the time of the court hearing, and I have to attend the court hearing. So it's a whole process, and I don't have the, you know, free cash to do it yet. So that's where I am right now. Um, if you want to know more, ask any questions you have in the comments. I would love to talk to you, and if I can, I'm going to try and put a clip of what my voice used to sound like at the end of this video. So just so you'll know exactly how weird and how different a voice changes when you're on hormone replacement therapy, stay tuned after the vlog. Anyway, that's all for now, and um, thanks for watching. Really ugly seal, but I don't have to breathe. If I'm in this form, I don't have to breathe underwater. If I shift back, see my breath bar shows up. I've got about three minutes before I drown. But every time I switch in and out of aquatic form, I get the full breath bar back so I can stay underwater indefinitely on this character. I like her robe too, it's really pretty.